Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 9.3.2 of Mastering Multi-Threading series, we will delve into the world of thread interaction and synchronization. Exploring two powerful tools in C-Sharp, the countdown event and barrier classes. These synchronizing mechanisms are essential for managing multiple threads and ensuring they work together effectively. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. Countdown event class for thread signaling in C-Shop. It's countdown event class. The countdown event class in C-Shop is a synchronization primitive used to coordinate multiple threads by allowing them to decrement a count until it reaches zero. It's designed to signal when a specified number of operations have been performed. Okay, let's try to understand countdown event class with the help of analogy. Let's imagine a group of friends waiting for a movie to start. Each friend represents a task that needs to be completed before the movie begins. So a countdown event in CSOP is like a countdown timer for them. It starts with a specified count, let's say 5. And as each friend finishes their task, the countdown decreases. Once the countdown reaches zero, the movie or some other events start. It ensures that everyone has completed their task before moving on to the next step. So that's the countdown event. It's available in .NET Framework 4.0 and later versions. We have two important methods of countdown event class. Number one, wait. Method. Wait method is used to wait for all threads to finish their task. Second, signal method, which is used to signal that a task is complete. Okay, so let's walk through a quick three step process to leverage countdown event for thread coordination. Step number one, object creation. So we start by creating an instance of the countdown event class, initializing it with the total number of tasks to wait for completion. That's what I have written a static countdown event obj countdown event is equal to new countdown event 5. So here I have mentioned 5, which is nothing but the initial number of tasks. Step number two, waiting for completion. So using the wait method, we pause execution until all threads have finished their task. That's what we need to write obj countdown event dot wait. Step number three, signaling task complete. So thread signal completion using the signal method, allowing the countdown to track the number of completed. That's how we need to write obj countdown event dot signal. So the countdown event is perfect for scenarios where a known number of tasks must be completed before moving forward. Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see a demo of the countdown event class for thread signaling. In this example, let's consider a scenario resembling a movie night where a group of friends is assigned some and they must finish their task before starting the movie. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named countdown event demo in that has one class night.cs. In this file, we have a class named movie night where I am creating an instance of this countdown event class. Here I am passing the five value at the constructor level that basically indicates that there are five tasks to be complete. Then there is a main method which is nothing but a starting point of the program. So here I am just printing this state countdown event demo. Then I have written one for loop. This for loop basically simulates five frames that is the task working on their assigned task. For each frame a new thread is created using the thread class with each thread executing the do task. Method. Here in the do task method what I have done basically this do task method simulates the completion of a friend task by pausing the thread execute for two seconds. That's what I have written this State. After completing the simulated task, it prints the message indicating which friend completed the task. But I have written console dot write line friend friend number completed task. Finally, it calls the signal method to signal that one task is complete. So here in this main method, after starting the threads for all friends, we have written this step number two, where I am just calling this wait method of the countdown event. So this line effectively halts the main method until the countdown reaches zero. Countdown, as we see, countdown starts at 5, so it waits until all 5 tasks are complete. Once all tasks are completed, then countdown event dot signal is called 5 times collectively by the frame. The wait method is the main thread, stops waiting. Then this statement is going to get executed. All tasks completed. Let's start the move. So now you have seen the program. Let me go and execute. Okay, so output got appear into this console. So friend four completed the task. Friend two completed the task. Friend three completed the task. Friend one completed the task. Friend five completed. So every task completed by all these five friends. Then this statement got printed. All tasks completed. Let's start the movie. 
तो की कंसेप्ट हियर इज सिंक्रोनाइजेशन यूजिंग काउंट डाउन तो ईच फ्रेंड सिग्नल टास्क कंप्लीशन आफ्टर फिनिशिंग देयर जॉब सो दैट्स द डेमो ऑफ द काउंट डाउन इवेंट क्लास फॉर थ्रेड सिग्नलिंग फॉर इफेक्टिव सिंक्रोनाइजेशन फॉर मल्टीपल थ्रेड वर्किंग टू बैरियर क्लास फॉर थ्रेड सिग्नलिंग इन सी शॉप नाउ लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द बैरियर क्लास अदर सिंक्रोनाइजेशन प्रिमिटिव दैट हेल्प्स थ्रेड सिंक्रोनाइज एट ए स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टुगेदर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन आल्सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनालॉजी लेट्स इमेजिन अ टीम बिल्डिंग एक्टिविटी वेयर अ ग्रुप ऑफ कलीग्स नीड्स टू क्रॉस अ चैलेंज obstacle ko each person represents a thread and they must reach a designated point together to proceed the barrier class in c sharp is like a checkpoint or meeting point for the team it's also available in dotnet framework 4.0 and later version using a two step process we will demonstrate how to utilize the barrier class for synchronization step number 1 object initialization First we create a barrier instance specifying the number of participants affected to reach the synchronization that's what we need to write something like this static barrier obj barrier is equal to new barrier 5 here i have mentioned 5 which is nothing but the participant count step number 2 synchronization let's use the signal and wait method to both signal completion and wait until all participants have reached the meeting point so we need to write something like this obj barrier dot signal and wait the barrier class is highly beneficial for scenarios where parallel task needs to synchronize before moving on together that's why i have written this use case over here. okay so let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action now we shift to visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the barrier so to show the demo what i have done i have created one console application named barrier thread signaling demo it has one cs class team building activity in team building activity dot cs file we have a class named team building activity here what i am doing i am just creating an instance of this barrier class here i have mentioned five that requires five participant that is the team members to reach before the barrier is lifted then we have one main method which is an entry point of this application here what i am doing i am just printing this statement into console window barrier class demo for thread signal then we have one for loop that is going to get executed five times i will start from one over here. so team member 1 2 4 5 5 similarly this number is going to get assigned to this variable it then for each run we are creating one object of the thread with the help of this thread i am just calling this navigate obstacle course thread function here i am passing this team for the input okay so here what navigate obstacle course method does it basically accepts one input parameter team member number and then it is printing this statement team member team member number is navigating the obstacle with this statement i just want to simulate that team member is navigating the obstacle course then i am just issuing the signal and wait method of this barrier class what i have written meeting point dot signal and wait so this statement basically wait for all the team members to navigate the obstacle and then finally what i am doing i am just writing this statement team member team member number reach the meeting point and then again i am issuing this signal and wait method it will wait for all the team members to reach the meeting point so if you see the signal and wait method is playing a crucial role and making sure that barrier is placed until all the team members complete that particular activity and once they complete those particular activity then barrier is lifted to proceed for further task that's the program of this barrier we go and execute this. okay so output got appear into this console here if you see this first statement got printed barrier class demo for thread signal then team member 2 is navigating the obstacle team member 3 is navigating the obstacle team member 1 is navigating the obstacle team member 4 is navigating the obstacle team number 5 is navigating the obstacle so all the navigating the obstacle part has been done by all the team member then they have started reaching the meeting point team member 5 reached the meeting point team member 1 reached the meeting point team member 2 reached the meeting or 3 reached the meeting and team member 4 reached the meeting point. so it is clearly visible that signal and wait method it is just creating a barrier so that all the team members complete that particular task then from that point onwards they can go and proceed further the goal here is to demonstrate how the barrier class helps synchronize multiple threads representing team members here so that they navigate the obstacle visually but must wait for all the team to complete the course before proceeding to the meeting countdown event versus barrier for thread signaling both countdown event and barrier classes in c sharp are synchronization primitives that help coordinate multiple threads but they serve slightly different purpose here we are going to see the differences among three parameters uses behavior and example 
So start with uses. Found on event class is primarily used to signal when a certain number of operations have been performed. Whereas barrier class is designed for scenarios where a group of threads needs to synchronize at a certain point in the code before moving on together. Let's talk about the behavior. Countdown event class starts with a specified count and each thread signals the completion of an operation by calling the signal method. The event is considered signal when the count reaches zero. Whereas threads arrive at the barrier and then wait until all the threads have arrived. Once all threads have arrived, they are released together to continue the execution. Finally, example, countdown event class is useful where I have a known number of tasks and we want to wait for all of them to complete before proceeding. Whereas, barrier class is useful in scenarios like parallel computing where we want rates to perform individual tasks and then synchronize before moving on to the next phase. So that's the difference between countdown event and barrier class. Okay, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we explore two powerful tools for thread signaling, countdown event and barrier class. We have delved into their implementation through examples and discussed their differences in detail. In essence, countdown event excels at tracking individual task completions, while barrier facilitates thread synchronization at a specific point, enabling their coordinated progress. So, understanding this synchronization primitive gives you with the tools and techniques to effectively manage thread interaction, ensuring efficient parallelism and coordinated execution in complex application. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.